Dark chocolate is rich in antioxidants and minerals that, that benefit your body. As the popularity of low carb diets increases, we are seeing more and more products advertised as keto friendly, including dark chocolate bars and snacks. But is dark chocolate okay to eat on your low carb or keto diet? I'll share how dark chocolate compares to milk chocolate, how dark it must be to be beneficial, and the mistakes that are easy to fall into when you add this snack to your diet. Most of us would look at a milk chocolate bar and realize that it is not a diet friendly food. However, when we are faced with a dark chocolate bar, we think differently. Uh, we've been told that dark chocolate has nutrients that benefit our body and health, so it is natural to wonder if we can include it in our diet to provide a bit of healthy sweetness. It is true that dark chocolate has a nutritional edge over milk chocolate, but to fully appreciate where it fits in your healthy diet, we need to build our understanding of what it takes to be considered dark chocolate. Now, I grew up and still live in central Pennsylvania near the town of Hershey. Hershey is of course famous for supplying the world with chocolate. Uh, and the town attracts people from all over the world. One of the main attractions is a ride and a building dedicated to the making of chocolate called Chocolate World. Um, inside Chocolate World is this nice little ride that takes you through the entire process of harvesting cocoa or cacao off of the tree all the way to the packaging of the iconic Hershey bar. Now, I have been on this ride dozens of times and after doing research for this video, I found that the information they present is pretty spot on. So there's a little shout out for Hershey. But anyway, as the ride and this study share, cocoa beans are ground, roasted, shelled, and fermented to form a non-alcoholic paste referred to as cocoa liqueur or liquor, depending on what part of the world you come from. The portion of cocoa liqueur in the final product is what determines the percent cacao or how dark the chocolate is. And most dark chocolates are a combination of the same primary ingredients. They have cocoa liqueur, cocoa butter, and sugar. They just put them in different proportions. Um, milk chocolate contains the same ingredients as dark chocolate, but also includes condensed or powdered milk. Uh, milk chocolate also tends to be high in added sugar and low in nutrients, but this can also be said for low quality or less dark chocolate. The general rule of thumb for knowing if your dark chocolate is dark enough to contain health benefits is to choose one with a cacao content of 70% or higher. At this level, the chocolate provides beneficial nutrients such as magnesium, which you often hear me refer to as mellow magnesium because of its calming effect on our muscles and mood. But perhaps the health benefit that dark chocolate is most known for is the high level of antioxidants that it provides. Antioxidants are compounds that protect your cells from being damaged by unstable molecules called free radicals. There are many different types of antioxidants. Uh, dark chocolate and cocoa products are particularly high in polyphenols, which you might think of as the beneficial compounds found in red wine and black tea. Now, you've probably picked up on two very similar sounding terms, cocoa and cacao, and you might be wondering what the difference is. Well, the terms are not completely synonymous, uh, but there is no widely accepted standard for the use of one term over the other. Now, the true chocolatier may say that the raw bean or seed earns the name cacao, whereas the more processed powder is best referred to as cocoa. Uh, but at the end of the day, the lack of agreement on when to use the terms makes them more or less interchangeable. Therefore, even though cacao is the more nutritious sounding name, it can't be a conclusion of yours that if the label has cacao written on it, that it is healthier than the one next to it that is labeled cocoa. Uh, what you can pay attention to is the percentage of cocoa or cacao of the chocolate. And this brings us to a discussion about common mistakes that are easy to make when you're considering if dark chocolate should be a part of your low carb or keto diet. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the antioxidant and nutrient benefits are most notable when the chocolate contains a 70% or higher cacao content. 
uh, below that level, more of the nutrients have been refined and processed out and more sugar has been added. Uh, for instance, this bar of chocolate has 70% cacao. However, sugar is the second ingredient. With this particular brand, you need to go up to the next level, which is an 85% cacao bar for sugar to drop out of the first three ingredients. And if you're familiar with my 0123 strategy, you'll recognize that is one of my food choice rules, that it sh sugar should not be in the top three ingredients. If you want to eliminate added sugar altogether, you must go all the way up to a 100% cacao bar. So you'll get the most nutrient benefit from this bar, but it will also be the most bitter tasting um, due to the lack of sugar. And obviously the decrease in sugar content found in chocolate with a higher cacao percentage will lessen the sweetness, but this is where adding dark chocolate snacks to your low carb or keto diet gets tricky. While it is true that a bar with 85% cacao has sugar listed as the fourth ingredient, making it an acceptable treat, uh, a seasoned low carb or keto dieter will still find that this is somewhat sweet. Uh, on my channel, I've discussed sugar addiction uh, in many videos, but it's really the sweetness that keeps us hooked and keeps our taste buds and brain craving sweets, which can end up defeating your weight loss journey rather than enhancing it. Adding to the challenge of including dark chocolate in your low carb or keto diet is the portion size. Dark chocolate is lower in carbs than milk chocolate, uh, and the carbs tend to decrease as the cacao content increases. However, chocolate is calorie dense. Uh, for instance, a 30 gram serving size of an 85% cacao chocolate contains 170 calories and 11 grams of sugar. Uh, the snack provides some antioxidants and nutrients, but if you're on a strict keto diet, you'll need to weigh the calories and carbs against that nutritional benefit. And keep in mind that some of those carbs will come from added sugar, which might make it hard to stop eating. In contrast, the same size serving of Swiss cheese will save you 52 calories and more than 10 grams of carbs and be much more hunger satisfying. Yeah, the bottom line is this. Dark chocolate is more nutritious than milk chocolate and the nutrient density increases as the percentage of cacao in the chocolate goes up. However, like milk chocolate, dark chocolate is calorie dense and contains more carbs than other low carb snacks. Also to reduce the bitterness, dark chocolate contains added sugar that can keep your sweet tooth alive. If weight loss is your goal, you'll be happiest with your results. If you look at dark chocolate as a very occasional treat rather than an everyday snack. I hope this video was helpful. If you are new to low carb uh, eating, I encourage you to download my 0123 strategy. It shares four daily habits that when followed, give your body no choice but to lose weight. You can follow the links here in the video to find that. Uh, and they'll also be listed down in the description area. Please subscribe to my channel before you go and have a great rest of your day.